Hello everybody, Alan Steady with the Managed Service Team over here at Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can reset the admin account password on your FortiGate firewall. This is a very common support request we see either as a disgruntled employee hijacks the account on their way out changing the password or the password wasn't documented or saved in a password bolt and the admin is no longer with the organization or the existing service provider will not provide you with the admin password. Or let's just admit it, sometimes we forget what we set this admin password to and we don't have it docked. So as we can see, there are a number of use cases that create the demand for us to need to be able to reset this account. Fortunately, Fortinet makes this possible. So in order to do this, we're gonna need a few things. Uh, first off, we're gonna need the FortiGate serial number. It does require that we are able to create a direct physical connection to the console port on the firewall. This is the port labeled as CON, C-O-N. And we're also going to need to be able to power cycle the appliance. So we will need to physically pull the cable. This is different than just a standard reboot or restart, which will not work for this. Again, just pull the power cable, wait a few seconds and reconnect it. So in other words, we're gonna have to do a hard power cycle. So here in our example, I'm just using PuTTY as my terminal application. And you can see configuration wise that we have selected serial as our connection type and we're going to leave our baud rate or the speed set to 9600. So right now I've got my FortiGate appliance powered off. The power cable has been removed, so I'll go ahead and get that reconnected and initiate our connection. Okay, so just a few things while our FortiGate powers on here. This recovery method is only available on our FortiGate physical appliance. This is not something that we can do with VMware or on our virtual firewalls. So if you have a virtual firewall, you'll actually have to revert a snapshot or reprovision your VM and restore your configuration that way. Okay, so back to our reset here. There's actually a built-in maintainer account, which we're going to utilize to reset the admin password. So here in our login, we're just gonna type in maintainer to log in with this account. We need to be quick about entering in these credentials. This account is only active after a reboot for around 60 seconds or so, and sometimes it's a little bit shorter on some of the older models. Followed by the password. So the password is gonna be unique and specific to your appliance because it's going to contain the serial number. So what we're gonna enter in is BCPB followed by the serial number which is going to need to be entered in as all caps. I'm going to include an example of this password below in the comments. Okay, great, so you can see we're logged in now using our maintainer account. Let me mention before we move on that there are two different methods depending on if VDOMs are enabled or not. In this particular example, VDOMs are not enabled. However, below in the comments, again, I'm gonna include uh, the commands for doing this using both of the methods. So if we have VDOMs enabled or if we do not. So here we need to configure the system admin account. So we're just going to go ahead and type config system admin. Now we want to edit the admin. So use edit admin. Now we are going to set the password. Enter set password followed by the password we want to reset the admin account to. I'm just going to use firewalls.com. Just keep in mind that both the admin username and password combination are case sensitive. So here in our example, we used firewalls.com with a capital F. So when we go to log in, when entering the password, I will need to use firewalls.com with a capital F. Hit enter and end. Now here I can pull up the user interface to log in and regain access to our admin account. Now here I can pull up the user interface to log in. I can regain access using our admin and firewalls.com with a capital F. And now we just need to ensure that we've saved our password in a safe place. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, be sure to give us the thumbs up below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're notified of future video releases. And be sure to come and check us out at firewalls.com. It's www.firewalls.com. Thanks for watching.